That's not good. I'd say that's safe. How's everybody doing? My name's Nathan Speltz and welcome to another day on the ice. I thought we'd start the year off strong by doing a little multi-species adventure and the lake that we're gonna be fishing today has a little bit of everything. I thought it'd be fun to get this year going by catching some different species of fish. And if all goes well, by the end of the night, we'd have caught some crappy walleye perch and maybe even some pike. We're gonna start out with a gold Rattlemaster spoon tipped with a crappy minnow. We're sitting in 20 feet of water right off a hump, so there should be some pike here during the day, and once it gets a little bit later, the walleye and crappie should come through. We're gonna get this drop down to bottom and see if any fish wanna make their way over here. Here we go, right away. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, a little pike. Maybe 30 seconds into fishing and we got our first species. Well, that did not take very long. First species out of the way, we have got a little pike. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be the first of many. Usually when there's one, there is a whole lot more. I'm just glad to get that out of the way soon. I wouldn't mind catching a few more though. I do enjoy fishing pike through the ice just because they give you one heck of a fight on some lighter gear. We're gonna get this scent right back down. We've got about another hour, hour and a half to catch our pike and perch. As Soon as sunset hits, it is crappie galore. So we're gonna stick it out till after dark tonight. We're gonna fish till around 10 o'clock, stay out here, do some night fishing for crappie and walleye and try to give it the best chance of doing some multi-species fishing. Along with jigging the spoon, I wanna get a flag sent down with a sucker on it. I want something on bottom for them. I might send down the underwater camera with it as well. We'll see if this has any action. We're gonna get a drop down to bottom. I'm gonna leave it six inches to a foot off bottom. That should get both walleye and pike. I just fished for about two and a half hours trying to target some perch and had absolutely zero luck. I fished some shallower water where I thought some perch or other panfish would be. I spent about two and a half hours on this hump, super shallow, nine feet of water, lots of good vegetation, perfect spot for some fish. Didn't see anything and the ice was, let's just say, very sketchy. It's safe to say there was no fish over there. Give it an hour, sun goes down, I promise you <laughs> there is going to be a pile of crappie on that screen. The sun is almost down and I am thinking the bite should pick up. It has been maybe 30 minutes to an hour of absolutely nothing. No flags, no bites. I moved around. I didn't really see too much action so I'm hoping as soon as that sun goes down, gets a little bit darker, the crappie roll through, it is going to be a fun night. Here we go. He is coming right up to it. Oh, backed right off. Drop down to this guy. Good amount of aggressive big fish here. This guy's coming in super hot. Got him. There we go, that feels like a nice crappie. There we go. Starting out with a slab. First crappie of the day is a nice 11 and a half inch. Such 
a beautiful fish. We're gonna get this one right back in the water. There is a huge school of giant crappies right down here. I'm gonna get my bait right back down and catch another one. She is off to sea <laughs> another day. That did not take long at all. These fish are just crazy aggressive. I'm not even gonna tip this with anything. I'm just gonna throw down a plain spoon. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem catching another crappie. Oh, I missed him. Don't usually get scared by ice cracks, but at night they definitely frighten you a little bit when you're not expecting it. There is just so many of them. We missed one a second ago. This guy is coming right up to it. That's a good looking mark too. He's coming in hot. There he is. Switched up to a little smaller spoon, and that was the ticket. Oh, my light just turned off. <laughs> just a little guy. Took me a while to get him to eat. I was throwing a bigger spoon here, and he was not liking that. Probably looked at it for a good five or ten minutes just didn't eat it switched up to a little bit smaller presentation same acme tungsten spoon not a rattle spoon but a nice little glow spoon one of my favorites for catching crappie sometimes if they're not eating what you're giving them you gotta downsize and that was the ticket for that guy it is definitely getting cold out here i think it's 19 degrees right now not the warmest temperatures to be outside. That's all right. As long as we're catching fish, I'm gonna stick it out. I would like to see some walleye though. That is just a ton of marks. It is unbelievable. I'm sure there's walleye here. I might have to throw back out my tip up. I switch it out right now for a dead sticked crappie minnow, but we'll see. If I am marking some bigger marks, we will throw out a flag and try to get a walleye. We're two species in. It's a little too late now for perch, but it is just perfect for walleye. All right, I'm gonna go set up my tent on a couple holes I drilled to my right. We're gonna get it all set up. I'm gonna fish around for 10, 15 minutes in there while I let some stuff charge and see if maybe over there has any better luck. I'd like to see some bigger fish. Feels a little nicer in that last one. Oh yeah. That <laughs> is a slab. Can't complain with a 12 inch crappie. Such a beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna give him a kiss. This was the first of many I saw come through. It is getting to that good time. We're gonna get dropped right back down. There is a ton of them down here. We just got it tipped with a fathead's head, not a full minnow this time, and it seems like it's doing the trick. That one came up and was incredibly aggressive. Those are the kind of fish I look for. We got a few more down there. We're gonna see a couple of them to our left that look like good marks. That's right away, another one's coming up. Here he comes. Looks like another good mark. There he is. That did not take very long at all. <laughs> another 12 incher. That is what I'm talking about. Might even be the same fish. That is a beauty right there on the spoon. Awesome looking fish. I mean, these guys are just such a blast on these lighter gear. 
we're going to get you right back in the water. I'm not noticing as many fish, but that might even be bigger than the other one. What is that? What are you, 12, 12 and a half? I don't usually check too many of them, but I'm curious. You are, oh, you might even be 13. You're uh, 12 and a half, 12 and three fourths. It's not fully to 13. Get you right back in the water, buddy. That is why I come out here at night. They all of a sudden just came through and they are hungry. There's two of them on it. One of them coming in from the right there. I'm gonna see if I can get his attention quick. That's what I love about these rattling spoons. You can get the fish's attention so well. Get him to come in from afar. Once he comes close, he's gonna hammer it. I know how aggressive this guy is. Give him two seconds. He is on it. Well, maybe a little bit more than two seconds. There he is. Oh, swing and a miss. Okay. Hit it and missed it. These fish have got to be just doing this on purpose. They are playing with my emotions. The way they come up, like they're about to just hammer it and then just kind of like, whew, whew. I don't know why they're doing that. They are like coming in. Super, super aggressive. They're about to eat it. And they're just like, oh, psych. You can even see it on the graph. They come in and they just, whew. they are just toying with my emotions right now. I'm gonna hop back outside in a little bit. Seems like the bite is just absolutely dead right here. It has been a while <laughs> since I caught that last one. So we'll hop back outside, see if the bite's any better out there. And hopefully, if it is, we'll catch some more fish. If not, we're gonna call it a night. All right, I'm gonna hop outside. I'm gonna go try some of the holes that I drilled. Move back out there, fish the spot I was just at and hope those fish are a little bit more aggressive than these. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden these fish were just not interested in it. Keep coming up, just looking at it. I'd like to still see a walleye. I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna move around a little bit. Find some fish and just hope for the best. This guy's coming up pretty high. We'll see if he eats. Two of them seem interested. Man, they just rush in and just back right off. Comes in super hot, super aggressive, looks at it and it's just not for him. All of a sudden nine o'clock came and they do not want anything to do with my lures. They come up, they look at it, they act so aggressive and they just don't eat. I have no idea why. I haven't had a problem like this before here. They are just not eating it. I'm not gonna stay out here if the fish aren't gonna eat. We are going to have to call it a video. I know this is a little bit shorter than my normal videos by a long shot and a lot less fish, but this was more of an adventure, if anything. I wanted to get out, chase after some multi-species and just have a good night. And we did just that. I can't complain. Other than the fact that my live scope's dead, which is probably the main reason I'm calling it a night, we did all right. Caught some fish, had a good time. Never saw any walleye, never got any perch. But overall, I mean, I came out here for multi-species and we caught some multi-species. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for 98,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is just unbelievable. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I love you guys so much and hope you guys had an awesome New Year's. Until I see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and peace out.